wanted to talk to you today about great teams and building great teams and you know what are the, some of the do's and don'ts to build a great team uh, i guess we all you know seen situations on television where a sports game is over one team loses and the tv reporter asks the coach you know why did you lose and it's the one million dollar question right and how often have we seen somebody you know really struggling to trying to you know find, find answers to that question and you know while it's um, you know difficult to answer it at the same time you know when we see a great team we know it and when we were part of a great team or when we are part of a great team and i guess you've been fortunate if you are you know we all feel it somewhere so what I'm trying to do is break it down into five principles that can help you build great teams based on my industry experience of the last 30 years. You know, working with dozens of leadership teams um, uh, internationally, globally, still do and absolutely loving it. So five principles. The first principle is the principle of underperformance. Um, I've seen oftentimes how you know, there's one or two people in a team that are perhaps great people, but should not be in the team at that moment in time. And I've seen so often where CEOs or business leaders um, hesitate or even fail to remove people from the team or admit people to the team that shouldn't be there. And that doesn't have to do anything with, you know, a bad person or whatever, but it's just that the person is not the right fit for the team at that moment in time. Principle number two, you know, failing to invest in trust. Trust is, in my experience, the basis for almost anything. And this also is so true when uh, we are talking about a team. So when there is a decent basis of trust in the team and, you know, how people relate to each other, how the, how the boss, how the business leader works with uh, with the team members that is one of the biggest differentiators i have seen in action when it comes to building great team principle number three you know failing to um, focus laser sharp focus on their wildly important goals so in other words where are we going as a team you know what are our goals what are the things that truly move the needle for our business what does the roadmap look like that we are uh, aiming for? Principle number four, team investment. I've seen not many teams where, that were great without an investment. It's like any other relationship. So in order to build a great team, you need to invest in the relationships and you need to invest in the team itself. So it's not only about the what, but it's also about the how. Do we know each other? Do we have a decent amount of care for each other? And that's principle number five. Great teams are, in my experience, it's not a social group, right? It's not a group of personal friends. However, the best teams I have seen in action also care for each other, look out for each other. And, you know, these are the five principles I wanted to share with you based on my experience when teams are really great. So hope this inspires.